My husband and I headed into a flea market thrift store and oh my goodness, I found so many pieces that I love. I love just grabbing a coffee and browsing through and seeing if there's anything that I absolutely need. Sometimes I find things that I don't absolutely need, but I absolutely want. Welcome back to Rachel in the Highlands. So today I'm super excited to show you the thrift haul slash antique haul, you know, my love for antique pictures and all things vintage that I have found. I've went to a few good places and I just kind of let it build up because you know, you'll go into one store and find one piece and then another and oh, it has been so good. And then my beautiful sister, gave me a picture. You are going to love it. And I'm not even going to tell you the price because it's such a steal. I feel like I never find pieces like this. I need to go up to where she lives because she has some of the most amazing thrift stores and I just need to get out more. But I've been stuck in projects around here and don't let me get off on that rabbit trail. It's been crazy. And you notice my bundled up wear that I am wearing right now. It is cold in our house. It is cold outside. So what happened, you know, we were in Ohio. It just seems like all of a sudden it's freezing here. It's going to be, I think, 28 degrees tonight. And we have no heat in our house. I know. So what has happened is we have a steam boiler, which we've lived here about three years. We know nothing about and a piece went out on it. They are coming Wednesday, but that doesn't help the now. And the now is, it's cold in our house. So I am layering, like literally sleeping in my robe, fuzzy socks, two blankets, three blankets. My husband's over here laying in a sheet. <laughs> Anybody else hate freezing? That's me. And so we are going to push through this. I am so thankful for heat. You never know how much you love it until it's gone. But right now I'm in my layers because it is chilly. I think it's a high of 40 degrees outside. It's cold in these old houses. So we have like the original windows from the 1930s and they are drafty. We do have like inserts that we put in them and I'm going throughout and putting them back in because I like to take them out when summer happens and we open up the windows. I love opening up the windows and letting the fresh air come in. So now I have to go back and put them all back in because you can hear the wind hitting those windows. They are so drafty. Old house problems. I don't know if anybody else lives in an old house, but you know, bundle up, put those layers on because yeah, you're gonna freeze. So that's why I'm over here dressed for winter. It is kind of wintery out. But I do have a great thrift haul for you guys today, and I'm so excited to show you. I hope you love some of the pieces that I have found, well, because I love them, <laughs> and I think that you guys will too. So let's jump right in, and let me show you what I found. So the first piece, I found this. Now, you know I've been talking about it um, a few videos back that I've been looking for pieces that I could use in my boys room and so this has kind of like the masculine vibe and also you can see it has uh, I green like green velvet outline which I love and to me it's just a um not a painting but it almost looks like a newspaper clipping and it isn't but it's 
of old buildings and you can see boats and I will do a close up for you guys to see. But I gave like four bucks for this. Now on the back of it, I just noticed I tried. <laughs> oh, me and my hanging abilities. They're not always great. So I tried to hang it like with this little picture wire and then I noticed how tacky that was gonna look because the nail would be up here and the picture's gonna be down here. And I was like, that's that's gonna look tacky, Rachel. So you just can't do that. And my husband just hasn't had time to help me, you know, nail in the little picture hanging thing. So we, I don't have time. We just set it on a nightstand and it actually looks really good. So this is gonna go in one of my boys' room. And if you can see here, the four bucks. There you go, close up for you guys. Don't you just love that? I love, it almost looks like, oh, what is it called? Mm. You know, where there's like memory box things that you can make, I never did one of those. I've seen them, they're really cool. Shadow boxes, that's what it is. It almost looks like a shadow box, but it isn't, but that's what it kind of reminds me of, like just the way that it's made. $4, you cannot, ugh, love, Love, love. Hey, you guys. Now you all are gonna be like, girl, don't you have enough of these? And maybe I do, but Cameo, Velvet, when I saw it hanging on, <laughs> I wish I would have filmed this. I think I did film part of it, but I didn't film the discussion that my husband and I had previous to this, which that would have made great content. So this was hanging on the wall and I said to him, I want you to find the one item on this wall that I would choose. He says he didn't see it, but isn't this so me? This is black velvet. She's painting, well, it's not really a cameo. Maybe it is of her. Um, yes, and this was $4. Once again, it does not have anything for me to hang it. So I set this on one of my shelves in my room love this vintage piece. And like I said, I shop my home, I move things around, so it probably won't stay in this area. I contemplated putting it in my black and white bathroom that I have for the kids, but I would have to use a command strip and I have wallpaper. And wallpaper and command strips do not mix. And so I didn't do that because um, you know, I don't know if I want to keep it there forever. <laughs> and once you put a command strip on the wallpaper, it's going to pull the wallpaper off and then I would be sad. So I didn't place it on there. I thought about it, but I didn't. So I found it a place on my shelf and did like the layered look. Okay. So the next piece, some people may hate it. Some people may love it. I love it. And I know it's, I guess it could be kind of ugly. <laughs> I don't know. That's the way to describe it, right? It could be kind of ugly. <laughs> oh, it actually works too. It's a clock, amazing, it works. Cause you know, you can thrift clocks all day long, but they don't always work. And it's telling, I think the right time, it's almost four o'clock here. So it just needs, it needs moved up a little bit. Okay, it has also, it has something on the back. I was trying to read it cause I haven't read it. Now this one I did pay a little bit more for, 15. So I wanted something in my kitchen to hang because I have, I like mixing in wood pieces into my kitchen. I have my wood island and then I have another picture. So I like mixing in different types of wood and not just always placing white on the wall because my kitchen is very white. So this really pops off of it. So I placed this in my kitchen and I will um, show you guys a picture like always I do. So you can see how I styled it. And when I saw this, I knew I wanted it because um, on the other side of the window in my kitchen, I have let's see if I can hold this, two pictures that are layered and I didn't really want to match on the other side where I have some shelves. I thought it would look too busy. So I just needed either one long piece so it would, you know, balance it, but it would fill that spot, but not be too, too matchy matchy. You know what I'm saying? So I found this and I honestly, I love it. I did just hang it and my husband wanted me, he was going to do it for me, but like I said, I don't have time to wait. So I did it myself. 
and I just used a regular old nail. I meant to gold leaf that nail because you know, you gotta gold leaf your nails and make them fancy. And I haven't done that yet. I will do that, but here it is. It has an eagle on it right here. It's dusty. Looky here, real life. I haven't dusted it. <laughs> I just want to keep it real for you all. So you can see that my home is dusty too, just like everybody else's. And I will be dusting it before I place it back up there. So this really does look so good in the spot and I can always move it if I want to. And you know, I do that here and there. Okay. Let's that didn't break this other piece which is so pretty and this is three bucks um it's not a paint it's not real it's you know a replica but it's beautiful it's eight by ten and it said in true I don't know some type of music lesson it's very vintage looking with the green I layered this in my dining room under one of my pictures. I absolutely love how it's etched in gold and then the green, which I don't have a lot of green in my um, dining room, but it almost is so deep that you can't tell. And not everything has to match perfectly. Sometimes that's hard for me. <laughs> so I absolutely love this picture. It's a lady um, at the piano and then a gentleman behind her. Oh, yeah, I wish I was in this scene. This table, oh, it's so gorgeous. So I found that for three bucks. Okay, hold on. Let me get this other one. I can't remember if I showed you guys this frame, but I found this frame um, at the Goodwill for $3.99. I think I did. So what I do is uh, instead of going to like Walmart or Target and finding frames, which you can, I found this one for $3.99 and I really wanted to do this, the wood look to go along with my son's room and tie in to where I use that, um, the, I don't remember, the little square pictures that I purchased and I did um, like a layered look on his wall. It did not come with this picture. So I found this fox on Etsy from some digital art. I loved how it pulled in the colors that I'm wanting. If you can see, I'll scoot up so you guys can really tell. Like he's just got that rust look and then this color too. And I placed it and I'll show you guys on the wall. Do you remember that eagle mirror that I had? Um, it was more like a federal style mirror. So I used that mirror, placed it, and then did two small, the two small pictures. I never did paint any of it. I left it original and I needed to complete the look because I had the federal style mirror and then the two layered pictures on the side. I needed something on the bottom to like just complete it. So I found this picture on Etsy and I wanted a frame, this is 11 by 14. Go to Goodwill, right there, you know, they have this with a not very pretty picture in it, $3.99. And I think total, this ran me about well, $14 because printing it off at Walgreens, I could not find a coupon. They usually do coupons around Thanksgiving and the holidays, but I needed it now. So there you go, look at that. It looks very, very vintage. It's so hard to find things for boys' rooms. It really is because as my boys are transitioning to get older, I like the more vintage. I mean, my one son's into dinosaurs, so I'm not gonna do an entire room in dinosaurs because that's a face I've learned and that could be transitioning out. So I just, you know, and they really don't care. That's what I've come to find about boys too is as long as you just give them some toys or yeah, something like that, they don't care. So they don't mind what I do with my decorating. The next item I'm gonna show you, my sister who, I'm so thankful for her because she finds pieces and she will give them to me and she's just like, here you go. You can have this. I found it and knew it was perfectly for you. That's a good sister. So let me show it to you guys. <laughs> it is heavy. Oh, you guys are gonna love this. 
I'm gonna stand up so you can see and just get the total picture here. Isn't this just gorgeous? So she found it and she said, when I saw it, I knew it would fit perfectly in your den. And you know how I painted my den, that deep green? This is just perfect. Six dollars, can you believe that guys? Look how big it is. I told her I said, I'm running out of wall space, <laughs> but I will find a spot. I'm trying not to catch the light for you guys. Hold on, there you go. And you can see there. I'll try to keep it at an angle because if not, I get that ring glide in there. It's just beautiful. And this is very vintage. You can tell by the old frame and I'm not gonna take it out. You remember how hard these, I hate these nails in these frames. They're the world's worst to take anything out. But it's got the old nails here. And then, um, of course we have to fix this because I don't know what the people were thinking when they were hanging it. This is way too long, so we'll clip that with wire cutters and tighten it up. So it will be a lot tighter here. And I might brighten it. <clears throat> haven't decided yet. She just literally gave this to me. And I might brighten it with the um, rub and buff through here. Excuse me, guys. I got a little bit of a runny nose right now. Look at this cottage. Ugh. I'm ready to move to the hillside. Can I, you know, have these sheep? Look how beautiful. I love this picture. So it's just here you guys go. This is the true size, if you can see. There you go. Now you can see the true size. It is huge. Oh, so that is my big thrift haul that I have found oh, the last couple of weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, guys, for always watching, make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I release a video. Let me know down below what you loved seeing today. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next week.